Okay, YouTube, here we have another odd machine. This one I know there is no other video on YouTube for. This is an Anzer, spelled A-N-S-E-R, Carpet Master, from about the 1960s, give or take. Um, it has been languishing on my back porch for two years until I finally managed to get enough of the parts together to get it running. Thanks in part to the Henry Company here in Indiana, who um, actually created this machine way back in the day. It is a near copy, rebadged copy of an early universal um, upright. And it retains the same universal motor from that time period. Um, the only thing that changed on it is that when the Henry Company got around to designing and selling these, they upgraded the brush roll by using a lovely, reliable Hoover brush roll, which made it a lot better. <clears throat> it was made by Republic Precision Corporation in Hicksville, New York. Oh, look. Got some more thread in there. Courtesy of the uh, dog's rope toy. Let me get that out of there. Yeah, come on. Oh, a little bit of hair, too. At any rate, steel fan. Of course, this, this brush roll was... was uh, brand new old stock rebuild that I managed to dig up. And we'll get the belt back on here and we'll fire it up. Alright, we're back. I have not managed to find a headlight bulb for this thing yet so it doesn't light up. got a very unique sound to it. That's that old universal motor firing up. And believe me, parts are nearly impossible to find for these things. Um, again, on the Vacuum Land website, there's a gentleman that owns the residential version of this machine, um, just plainly called the Anzer, and it's red and white. Very attractive machine, but this was the commercial version with the uh, shakeout bag from what the Henry Company tells me, which was an, an extra option that could be added on. Uh, and of course that is the original bag. You can see, you kind of see it says Carpet Master on there. But uh, there you go. That's one of the gems of my collection. I hope you enjoyed it.